So, hey, there's a new ad running, and I've been told this uh, in running in New York. Uh, Truth Seeker on Twitter posted this, and you want to see what it is? Uh, here we go. I've been into fashion since I can remember. But one day, I had a stomach ache so bad, I didn't want to do anything. The team at New York Presbyterian said it was actually my heart. It was severely swollen. Something called myocarditis. But doctors gave me medicines and used machines to control my heartbeat. They saved me. So now I can become the next great fashion designer. They cut the... the it cut off before the last part, she says, uh, but I don't care how fashionable it becomes. I'm never taking another one of those effing bags. <laughs> oh, that was a very heartwarming video. That makes me feel great. Isn't that nice? Yeah. We're normalizing yeah. myocarditis in children. Just like, ah, is this is something kids get now. Just like uh, uh, it happens to everyone. Puberty. Breakups. Everybody gets myocarditis. myocarditis. Yeah, that's right. It's just like pimples. You, you <laughs> get you part get, of growing up. <laughs> pimples, growing pains, and myocarditis. Oh, you got the myocarditis. Ah, not that this take you over to say Presbyterian. They're going to use machines to fix you, and then you can become a, a. You can you can stay amazing. I am so sick and fucking tired to death of people. The over. The hyperbole in society about blowing smoke up people's assholes about how great they are. Oh, you could stay amazing. Amazing? So, amazing? Okay. Can we just come up with different words? How about you stay adorable? How about that? How about she's adorable. She's not amazing. She's going to be an amazing fashion designer who overcame myocarditis at age 13. <laughs> But right at the end of that commercial, it says, stay amazing. I've been right? into fashion since I can remember. But one day, I had a stomach ache so, so bad, bad, I didn't want to do anything. The team at New York Presbyterian New said York it was actually my heart. It was severely swollen. Something called myocarditis. But doctors gave me medicines and used machines to control my heartbeat. They saved me. So now I can become the next great fashion designer. Stay amazing. Can we stop doing that? We, that to, now I'm changing the focus of this segment. <laughs> Can we stop doing that? She's a kid. They're not amazing. If she if, if she could build a computer while playing the piano, that would be amazing. She's just a kid. Stop doing that. First of all, it puts pressure on kids. Could you imagine people telling you you're amazing as a kid? Really? Wait till they find out the truth. Because she knows she's not. That's what if someone would have told me that as a kid, you're a man, I'd be like, fuck, quit putting the pressure on me. All right. Let, let me be a regular kid. I want to I want to have to stay amazing. A lot of work. <laughs> How about if I stay fucked up, little kid, and you guys uh, guide me? How about that? <laughs> How can she be amazing? How can she stay amazing when she's barely staying alive? <laughs> That's how you stay amazing. I guess so. Um. It is now undeniable. I'm not saying that this has anything to do with anything. But uh, it's now undeniable that vaccines can cause more myocarditis in men under 40 than COVID-19. Just out. I have said repeatedly that Moderna should be banned in men under 40. FDA failed Americans. And this analysis is more complicated. Everyone gets breakthrough and eventually. So that was, uh, we, we reported this. That was just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that was from uh, August 28th. So that's the latest. Um, did you know, so this was from uh, 2004. Between 2004 and 2014, they, uh, how, many, how many people had myocarditis? How many kids? Kids under 15? This is from a hospital admissions of myocarditis in Finland occurring in patients aged under 15. That's what that means, right? 15 or under? That's what that symbol means? Yeah. Yeah. From 2004 to 2014, were collected from a mandatory nationwide registry. All patients with myocarditis as a primary, secondary, or territory. 
That's a fun word to say. Territory. <laughs> Is it territory? <laughs> That's funny. Territory. <laughs> Is it a territory cause? <laughs> a territory cause of admission. We're in co- what is territory? <laughs> this is going to kill me if I say it one more time. Hey, tertiary. <laughs> is that tertiary? Is that I how you say it? So. Tertiary? Yeah, tertiary. Territory. I like saying territory. <laughs> it's territory. Hey, Suri, what's the definition of tertiary? <laughs> oh, it's an adjective. It means third in order. <laughs> That's all that means? Tertiary? Are you fucking shitting me? Tertiary is a stage of... That's what it means? Are you disappointed? She, oh, she goes, I won't respond to that. She thought I was still talking to her. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. All right. Uh, Terry Terry. I like Terry Terry. Can we say Terry Terry? All patients with myocarditis as a primary, secondary, or territory. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> there were 213. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't even know what this fu- is fucking about. Oh, we started with a commercial? It, yes. Just stay amazing. <laughs> <laughs> territory. You're talking about the data. I'm talking about the data. There were, I hospitals. think I have I think I have COVID brain fog. Cause the last couple of days, like when we were doing I'd be in the middle of a story and I would go, I forgot what I was talking about. So I think I'm having some kind of uh brain fog brain fog thing happening. I do. I do. And I, I'm not saying it's from the but uh there were two hundred and thirteen admissions with myocarditis in pediatric patients. Myocarditis was the primary cause of admissions in eighty six percent. Eighty six percent of what? The overall incidence rate of myocarditis was almost two per 100,000 persons, but that is under 15. This is confusing. I don't even know why I'm showing you this data. Risk of myocarditis after, I don't know. I don't know anything. Hey, let's watch me come off stage again. I love you. Love each other. No. 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 But anyway, the important part is this. This crazy commercial. Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there. 